Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to yet another episode of Folk Tale. As you can see, we're exactly where we left off with our heroes, which is Sir Gregory and Quillix, um, who've just left the bandit cave. We won't go back in because there's no point. What? Excuse me. What we will do though is head back to our lovely, lovely village of Shirebrook and we will see what's going down in our Shire town. So first of all, let's... Uh, get these growing carrots so we can get some uh, variation in our diets for our, our citizens and also what we will do is we will start to equip some people with the loot that we got so and uh, this is what I was mentioning in the last episode so we'll give him that because why not and um, pool what to give him we'll give him leather pants got some cloth braces too uh, actually, you know what? We'll give him the better ones because he's got more attack now. And we'll also give him those special gloves. Uh, we can give him some cloth shoulders. And we'll give him the van braces too. So that's all well and dandy. So he is now there. As for her, we will also do the same. We'll give her some more loots. Give her the van braces too. Give her the leather pants. Why not? Can't have her walking around with no clothes on now. What else do we have? Oh, we have that epic. So we will go and equip that to one of our stone cutters. To be done. Benedict the Bruise. What an what a very very appropriate name for a guy who's going to have a 80 attack weapon. Um, let's give him some armor as well, just so he doesn't die. Okay. So, what else do we have that's out and about? We don't need her. What about you? Are you the hunter? Yes, you are. Yes, my dear. So, Isabel the Reluctant. Let's see if you'll uh, not so reluctantly accept this new bow. And she did indeed. Cool, so I think that's just about all of our items equipped now, is it? Uh, yeah, it does look like that's the case. I don't think there's anything more we can give. So, we can get straight back to it. So, what it says we need now is a bakery. Got a good amount of resources, stone's coming in. Actually, what we should probably do first is build some clothing. They did mention this earlier on in the game. So we'll get a weaver's hut. Uh, that's a cotton field. So where's the weaver's hut? Here is the weaver's hut. We'll build this over this direction. Orders received. But before we do that, let's scout out the area. Just so we make sure there's nothing around that could cause us any uh, problems or anything like that. Okay, so it doesn't like this place is kind of secure. Scout up here. See, we could have quite a pretty village in the end. Uh, I thought they were berries, but it just looks like some mushrooms I growing. Believe. Okay, so it looks like the uh, the iron the iron mine is also clear. So I guess what the thing to do would be we'll uh, get that new clothes in Emporium Billy being built. So we'll build the weaver's workshop. Where's a good place for it? Is that too far out? Or I mean, we could actually build it over here. Uh, it's next to the river as well, so it kind of makes sense with the water wheel. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So yeah, we'll build this. And then now we can build some cotton fields, so we will also... Build one there. It shouldn't knock down any trees, and it didn't, which is all fine and dandy with me. We'll get another one built over here. So you can see Shire Brook now is becoming quite the little town to live in. It seems to be growing rather rapidly. Got our hunters there, proudly doing the job for the uh, the good people of our of our nice little village. Hmm. Construction completed. We do actually have an awful lot of materials, so let me see what it would be to upgrade this. I mean, phew, quite a lot of stone actually. So we won't do that just yet. Yes, my dear. We will have <laughs> Maggie the Mange. Right we'll retrain you as a weaver. Okay, so there you are. She's going to start getting the raw materials in. And then we also need a tailor's emporium. Has been constructed. So that will be on the, this tab. We do actually have enough to build it straight away. So fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We just need a place to place it. And 
what finer place is there but here. Let's uh, make it so the front door's actually uh, accessible as well. So you see, Knight is once again gathering. But it's not that bad of a thing really in this game. It's not like there's any monsters that come out. Or at least I hope there isn't any monsters that come out. <laughs> Mine is to obey. Well, that is very, very good to know. Yes, my dear. And once we have this built by our last remaining peasant, we can start to uh, advance. We'll see, perhaps. Yeah, it costs the. Ex looks like it costs the exact same, and they do require more happiness in order for us, order for us to do that. So we won't be doing that just yet, then. We might be able to do some other things, so for example stone looks to be something that we're falling behind on, so perhaps we can get some upgrades. Um, chisels, what will that do? Completed. Increases production, and the set square will increase production as well. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that as we've got quite a lot of... Quite a lot of money coming in. We'll also do more production, expanded boundary. Firewood will be something we'll definitely need, so we'll get that firewood coming up. So yeah, Shirebrook is really, really starting to uh, pick up somewhat now. Really liking the look of our town. After we've got the Taylor's Emporium built, which looks like it is now there. Excuse me for the hiccups. Once again, I have been necking coffees like you would not believe. Oh my dear. So is that both our farmers? There's one. Looks like she's on the way back. So we will... Yeah, Mrs. Fourthwind or Miss Fourthwind. I'm not sure if you're married yet. But we will now upgrade you and uh, move you into our first tailor. As we can see, our clothing proficiencies are going down somewhat. So the forestry research has been completed. So let's get some more on us. In fact, we don't actually need more more planks at the moment. So instead we will up the production of our stone, get a set square, got a good amount of food over there too, perhaps we'll put our bakery around this area, yeah let's do that, let's uh, let's build this bakery now so, right we don't quite have to stone for that yet, but that's fine, that's not a problem, we should have that very soon, particularly with our upgrades that we've got coming. Yeah, we're starting to make quite a quite a nice town now. I'm wondering if perhaps I thought there were roads that you could build. Workshop walls. Hmm. I was so sure that you could build roads in this game. Stonecutters, blacksmith, herbalist den. Yeah, we will eventually need one of these because it says it's getting rid of uh, curing sicknesses, so we don't want any villagers to get sick. So we'll get onto that very 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 soon. Stone, yeah, it's not quite there yet, but it will be soon. What's that? That's more research that has been completed. So yeah, a nice little village. Let's see if we can get it. That's as far out as we can zoom. But it's really coming along is the village of Shirebrook from when we arrived. Obviously, Kenny the Bastard is now, uh, sorry, Kenny the Scar would be his technical name, but that's now gone. And I can see we do actually have a bit of a threat over we here, so engage. let's go ahead and... Our town is under attack deal with said threat. Oh, this spider queen looks like it could be quite the challenge. Let's get a backstab in there. Fantastic job there, Quillex. Never ever ever letting us down. Oh, good amount of loot too. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what we can do with all of the loots, but Double time. we shall see later on. So we still don't have the stone as of yet. Just like there is a Minotaur encampment over here that we saw last episode. I mean, I'm kind of half tempted to uh, go and deal with that now. Just so we know our village will not have any kind of problems. But before we do that, let's get this bakery built. Since they do seem to praise the uh, Holy Toast, I believe they called it. So we will put you, where should we put you that's not going to impact too much on the landscape? We can put you there. That seems like a nice, nice ample place for a bakery. 
see if we can place it a bit nicer. I am a sucker for aesthetics after all. There we go. So build that bakery there. We'll start getting a good economy coming in now because people, well the peasants in the village rather, will go and buy, uh, buy products from us. In the meantime, yeah, she's just doing a thing. She's been alright, she's just going around and hitting the usual kind of stuff. Spiders and the like. Oh cool, so we actually did have two more people available. So I guess we'll turn... Catelyn the shifty! <laughs> Let's have a shifty baker, why not? Building completed. Why not? Okay, so that has now been completed. So we have two quests now. We had the Withering Dead and we had Travelling to the Glade. So as far as I'm aware, the Glade folk are on a whole new map. At least it used to be on Sandbox. And as you can see, it is a long, long way away. All the way over here, in fact. So I think what we will do is uh, we'll put a pin in this for now. We'll see, though, if we can scout out a rough idea as to where these dead would be. The withering dead, the withering dead. These are mountains, mountains, mountains. Bilbo would be in his element here. Okay, so these, they look like graveyards to me. Oh, wow. That is a fantastic mausoleum. There's a big, big lake there as well. Looks like I have actually gone over more spider dens. Oh, so they're not actually that far away from us. Okay. Okay, so we do have a choice. That might even be the factory, actually, that we were talking about, because it doesn't have a uh, anything that we can click to tell them as to which way we wish to go. But there we go. We've got a good supply of everything coming in now. Uh, meat pie should start getting to uh, start getting made as well. Got some bread coming in. Although I believe it's a butchery we actually need in order to get those. Yep. Which we don't quite have the iron to do so. Next mission will be for ourselves. We'll build a couple more houses, get more population into our village because so far I do believe the happiness is going up. So, yep, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Shire, Shire Brook is just growing and growing and growing. So, we'll see if we have enough for another house now. We should do because all our supplies seem to be pretty, pretty good, really. So if I can build another house, which I can, we'll pop you down over here. Okay, so I'll pop you down like so. Another cottage being built just over the riverside. So as far as quests go, it looks like we might have boxed off uh, all of the quests so far. But as I said, it is early access, so... We'll see what else it throws at us, because the map does look to be very, very big indeed. Perhaps we could have a little gander over here. See if there's anything else we can do in this area. Yeah, let's, let's uncover the map. So we got our two heroes again, doing us an absolute credit of a service by being their fabulous selves. Something is flashing up red on my map. Oh, is they wolves? They shall not pass. We've got experience with dealing with wolves now. Go for that. Go for an eviscerate, or fan of knives rather. Perfect. We got our we got our hero another level up there. So believe what we will do. He's got a lot of defense. Give him some more attack. It is only one more attack, which seems like a bit of a waste. I'll remember that for next time. So let's have a quick look around. You know, thistle. Okay. Nice little waterfall there. A lot of iron just dotted around, actually. Onward. So new settlers should arrive fairly shortly from our uh, huts. Don't ask how they got there. If you uh, want to know that, I'm sure you can find out more information on the birds and the bees by uh, asking your parents. New villagers have arrived. There we go. There are our new villagers. So, 
Bakery's looking quite good. Uh, how are our stocks doing overall for our production? Looks like we don't really have that much in the way of Be right there, darling. the way of grain. So we'll pop pop one guy into there or one lady rather. See what else comes about. More people just standing around. Our village has attracted new settlers. Why, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant. So you need a little bit more stone, and then we can go ahead and build a blacksmith. Just is quite a quite a distance away at the moment, though, which I'm not not too keen on. But I suppose we could always do hmm. that stone, that stone, that stone. I'll tell you what, let, let's get you clearing up some stone for the time being. You too. Oh, we do have berries there as well. That's cool. This gentleman we will have collecting the iron for us. Because then we can go ahead and get a bakery set up. We really start driving our economy forwards. So is that something... Oh! Oh dear! Oh dear! What have I done? The ground here looks recently disturbed. Oh! Oh dear! The enemy is in our village. Hmm. Okay. Run, Mr. Mr. Edmund. At once. Yep. Let's see if we can uh, keep the attention of this one zomble. Using the greatest way to kite, just Wait, until... For Marauders are ransacking our village. To victory. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like we did... Okay, so it looks like we're going back to our mayor there, though. This is really it. Shouldn't the dead, you know, stay dead? Something's disturbing the dead from their eternal rest. Keep an eye out for clues that may lead us to an explanation. Okay. So that's that's cool. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear indeed. So we have a spider queen that's just popped out of nowhere. Let's uh she's gonna die. Oh dear. Oh dear. Not good at all. I believe that was one of our fishers. That's uh, that's that's a pretty pretty bad start. I will be so honest. Looking for a fresh start. So we'll get another fisher there. Although we do seem like we're having quite the income so far. So we should now have the ability to build our blacksmith. So we'll pop that there. Start getting an income. A proper, proper income, that is. Hmm. Maybe because we've had a death now, it would be an idea to get a herbalist den being built. Because we've got the extra people as well. So how much would that cost? 10 iron. Okay. So... Where's a good place to grow some herbs? I suppose we could put it here, again by the water side, and then just put some herb fields slightly in front of it. So we'll move this, see if we can get it in a slightly nicer placement. I'm happy with that, more than happy with that. As, you come, a building has been constructed. And as we have these now, we will also build herb fields. One here. Can we fit another? We can fit another there. Tis an honor. I am a big fan of the soundtrack, I have to admit. Hmm. I just wonder if we've assigned all our builders now. Just like we got one there. And then maybe there should be one or two still dotted around. I mean, I did tell some to do jobs like gather Building stone. Completed. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like we got Gavin the Poos. Ta -ta. So, Gavin, you're going to get over here. Do we have any kind of weapons that we can give you for a blacksmith? I don't believe we do. A building has been constructed. 
Okay, so we can actually give these to our fishers then. So let's definitely, definitely do that. Construction complete. So workers. Let's go ahead and find this worker. Get their inventory open and we will give them this knife. We give them a slight boost to their agility as well, which is good for us all really. Okay. Yes, my dear. Our baker. Same again. Let's give you a mace. Okay, so she's kind of walking on the mace. Again, early access game, guys. Gotta give it some credit. But we do also have a blacksmith now, so that's fantastic. So if I look at the research, here comes the interesting stuff. So you can actually make weapons and armor, which I've always thought to be very, very cool. Again, it's not particularly cheap. Not particularly cheap at all. Ooh, we're now missing a worker, so... Rufus, you sound like you'd make a fantastic herbalist, my friend. So let's get you as to be a herbalist. As you can see, our village is quickly, quickly growing now. So I think what might be an idea for us to get next is perhaps something like a storehouse. Is that, yeah, as you can see, it's going to give us a much greater storage capacity. So let's try and put this somewhere that's fairly accessible to all. Seems like a good idea to myself. Because the miner's got the miner does have the furthest way to walk, I suppose. So anywhere that we can kind of place this, that's going to make all of our villagers' lives easier in the long run. Okay, so suppose if I pop it there, it's not ideally the neatest place. Or no, let's the storehouse. You want to keep it secure, so let's put the storehouse relatively central in our village then. Okay, so... Let me think what else it is that we need to do, because our happiness is nearly at 200 now, or culture as it's called in this game. Which is fantastic for us. Okay. Building completed. Brilliant. Okay, so having a quick scan around. I am thinking of perhaps putting up a wall of some kind just in case any more spiders come a knocking. But I really, really would like to do that in a slightly more Quick secure march. environment, but I think I've just found the culprit of the uh the spider attacks. The enemy is in our village. The enemy had better not be in our village while I'm doing this. So let's also do this, give them a stun, go for a backstab on that queen, and job is, as they say, a good one. Okay, so that's another threat dealt with there, we shouldn't have to worry about spiders for the time being. Ready to serve. Well, isn't that potentially problematic? What would you have me do? I don't want you to do anything now, Sir Gregory, as it appears. At once! You've got yourself stuck. Ah. <laughs> Probably the worst thing that could happen is he's the only guy who can actually get anything done, so... Um, I'll see if I can get a forester. This is the baker, isn't it? Yep. Okay, that's peculiar. Everyone looks like they've stopped moving. I wonder why that is. What I'll try doing, I'll try saving and reloading. Again, early access games do sometimes have a bug. So we'll exit to the main menu. Give it a quick try again to see if we can get this working. Okay, so as it says there, very famous words, don't panic. And it does look like... Onward. Problem solved. 
When in doubt, give it a bit of a reload. So yeah, we still have everything functioning nicely. Culture probably could do with being a bit higher, but I think what we'll do is we'll build hmm, maybe one more cottage. I think we can support that as everything seems to be on the up. See if we have any spare workers to give us anything nice. Rationing taxes, food variety four types. Overall happiness plus six. So I do believe all we need to do now is to build a monastery and then get some bees going. So where would be a good place for a church, do we think? Because let's be honest, it's a church. It has to be in the ideal of locations. As you wish. See, this is what worries me. These spider places will regrow. Which is kind of why uh, walls are not a bad idea. Come to daddy! For honour and glory! Okay, so focus everything on the Spider Queen. Get them one of those. One of these. Stun it. Pop back over to you. Give it a cheeky backstab. And we'll end that spider. Lair there. Double time. I mean, it's a great way to get some, uh, some loot back, I suppose, really, but... Depends on what you're into, really. Let me double check how much walls are. Walls apparently don't cost anything. Which I suppose is more than brilliant for us. Though it also looks like we're unable to build them. <laughs> Could we, for example, build a wall here? Not enough stone blocks. Okay. It'd be good to know how many stone blocks the cost, as opposed to just telling us. Not Our enough. Stonecutters need to chisel more stone blocks before we can do that. Well, they they better get onto that then, haven't they? Is there anything else we can give them as uh, an upgrade, perhaps? Again, that requires two hundred cultures. So, for the time being, what we'll do, we'll just leave these guys near the city centre then. Guessing you'll probably need something like maybe two, three hundred blocks. What else do we have around? I can't see any more spider lairs. No. Okay, so Shire Brook. What else do I want to give you? I want to give you... A tavern, but as it says, they'll need mead. Okay, so let's get this church up and running. The Church of the Holy Toast. Again, we'll pop it central to the town. Central-ish, at least. Perhaps we'll pop it up there. There we go. Then let's get some bee farms. I mean, I will be honest, one of the things I do tend to be guilty of in these kind of games is, uh, especially city builders, I overextend. I try to uh, play... Oh, what was it called? Oh, this is going to bug me. Oh dear, uh, I think it's it's not Outcast. Uh, what, what was it now? Exiled, it might have been, or yeah, some, been something along the lines of Exiled. Hmm. Arthur Shafton. What a perfect name for a, for a uh, monk. And here you can see he's got his robes of the Holy Toast on. We'll see perhaps if there's a, a better staff we can give to him. Did we find a staff? I don't think we did. Me? No, he can't use the spear. <laughs> I got a little bit, a uh, little bit hopeful there. Construction completed. Building completed. Absolutely perfect. So our happiness has gone up again. See, our stone is going up too. So now we have religion. Everybody is chuffed. And let's think what would be a nice place that we could uh, place down our tavern. Obviously, taverns are uh, you know pretty central, pretty central to the development of any culture. So I'm thinking perhaps if we put our tavern 
Hmm, somewhere by somewhere by the river, we could have it like a little riverside tavern. We'll see how much how much it would cost to make. We might not have the ingredients just yet. Oh, sorry, the uh, materials, the ingredients. So we do have a tavern now here. Plus, we're going to need it after all if Sir Gregory means to. Uh, I think she was called Lilith, the lady. If he means to woo our Lilith, then he's he's going to have to really, really pull out all the stops. I mean, he has a cracking stash. I'm sure anyone would agree. A cracking stash is the first step on to wooing any lady. But at the end of the day... He needs a helping hand. So I guess we can just pop our tavern down. Pop our tavern down here. We do still need to get quite a little bit of work going in order for us to... Uh, Get our village to really, really prosper. But I'm, I'm liking how it's looking so far. It's looking very, very well done. So I think what we will do... Uh, you've had a little bit of combat now. You've had a little bit of uh, bug fixing. <laughs> you've had a little bit of the city development. So I believe I'll end this turn, this uh, folktale here, for the great city of uh, Shire, Shire Brook. And uh, next... next episode we will see exactly how further we can uh, or how much further as I should say we can get our town to really really thrive as soon as we train we don't want Beryl the Vile yes, uh, Millicent Mudpecker she is our first uh, our first taverness so yeah thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen if you uh, like the like well the game's going so far then uh, give me Give me a little comment below, or if there's any kind of uh, ideas that you want to see to help make Shirebrook thrive, then I'm all ears. I think next episode we will start by putting in some roads, but other than that, uh, again, thank you very much for your time, and uh, hope you've had a uh, lot of fun. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.